include everything. All right, guys, we are back in Solo Learn. Uh, do, doing the get and set attribute values of jQuery attributes and content. So when working with jQuery, sometimes you want to just get values, some attributes uh, from the HTML. In this example here, we're getting all the anchor tags uh, or a anchor tags attribute here and setting, getting the attribute, getting the href, which is going to store in a value, and then we're going to output solo learn or alert solo learn with that value. So things that are attributes would be class or source, div and image are uh, tags or elements. So right here you can also set things. So you before we were just getting, because we were just saying get this, now we can actually set this by passing in a second parameter. So uh, that's pretty cool. If we want to change the image of the file, we are going to go ahead and use our jQuery selector dollar sign, basically. And then we're going to say, for this image, go ahead and change it to 1.jpg. Nice. Pr pretty straightforward. If you just want to get it, you don't pass in that second parameter. If you want to set it, you pass it in the attribute plus the parameter. Now, if you want to remove a class or remove an attribute, you can do that as well using remove.attr. So let's see here. Fill in the blanks to remove the border element of the ID with text. ID text, remove attribute, and then we want to remove border. Get and set content. So sometimes you want to go ahead and get the content, set the content. That would be our inner HTML, or in this case, .html is the jQuery word for it. Sometimes you just want to get the text. Uh, so here you'll see we get the text of our paragraph. It'll output uh, jQuery is fun. You can see this right here. jQuery is fun. Da da da. Um, now, when you get just the text, you're only going to be getting the text of it. So th that's the difference between inner HTML and the text. If you get inner HTML, see how we have this word fun bolded? We're actually going to get that HTML as well instead of just the text, which depending on what you want to do is, is slightly different. So if we got just the text here, what we get back is the letter P. Um, goes over it a little bit of the same thing that we've been talking about. So fill in the blanks to change the content of the markups, content of the paragraphs with the ID demo. So first thing we need to do is tar target our selector demo here, which is hashtag demo. And then we want to change the content. So we're going to append the HTML here, which is actually going to output the HTML as well. Now, if we output it as text, uh, .text, this would be actually print out the Bs, and we don't want that. We want it to be read as HTML. So val allows, so the val method allows you to get and set the values of form fields. So this basically will get the value of name. So you see our value here, we want to get your name. We can go ahead and do that with dot val. To get started, let's go ahead and put this in order. You need to do your ready function or your basically your document dot ready. And then we want to put that at the bottom. And then we will define our variable var t is equal to the value of user. And then we're gonna go ahead and output that out as well. So summary. The following jQuery, so you have dot text dot val dot attribute dot remove attribute. All these are pretty common and you use, use these quite well. Um, the really the only um, confusing thing might be dot text dot html. Just remember that html includes the markup language. So if you want to get the input field, you're going to use dot val. Adding content. You can also add content. So so far we've already talked about, we've been talking about pre-existing content. Now, uh, if you want to uh, add content, there's a couple other things you can use. So append will add something onto the end. Uh, prepend will add it to the beginning of selected elements. And then after, inserts content after the selector, selected elements. And then before, inserts content before the selected elements. So if you want to put it in the beginning, so prepend will do that. If you want to append something at the end, so what is the result following the code in HTML? So we have a paragraph with one, 
and we want to append two so that's what's going to happen is it's going to throw it in front of that and so that's a two it's going to be 21 then we want to prepend one it's going to be two one one Pend. really am i mistaken so we append a two. Oh, excuse me it's going to be so you append on the end and you prepend on the top. Excuse me, I got I got confused for a second. So it's going to be one one two. There we go. Sorry guys. Get a little loopy for a second. Um, you have after and before. So before demo, we want to go ahead and insert this, and after this ID demo, we want to go ahead and put that as well. So can you use HTML markup? I actually don't know. So let's go back and review this. Uh, yes, you can use HTML markup. You can also add new elements. Uh, so you see, you can just go ahead and throw stuff in there if you want. So we're creating new text, and then we can assign the text value to it. So this will create a new div, for instance, this is the example they give you. So you don't always have to have content in there. So we want to create a new span. We can do it like so. And then we want to append that span with the ID and append uh, uh, so we want to go ahead and append that like so. Cool. And module 2 quiz. Now fill in the blanks to set the alt attribute of the image with ID image and alert the value of its attribute. So we have our image that we're targeting with our selector, and we want to change the attribute, alt, to demo, and then we want to alert the value of its SRC attribute. So alert, uh, alert our hashtag image and the attribute source. There we go. The text method returns the text content of the element, including the HTML markup. That is false. It does not return the HTML markup, it only returns the text. <coughs> Excuse me. Fill in to get the value of the form field with the ID name. And set the text of paragraph with ID equals the text. Var name dot. Fill in to get the value of the form field with the ID name. So we want to get the value that's dot val. Don't forget your uh, parentheses. And then uh, we want to set it as the text of the paragraph with ID text. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and target the text. And we want to pass that in. Finally, what is the output of the code in the HTML? So we have a paragraph with an A, B, and there's a span and a P. So if we say the p and then the span dot text a what we should have is we want to replace the text of the paragraph and then the span within i believe we should have a a if, there we go and finally fill in the blanks to create a new element with the text high and insert it before the element with id div so we're going to create a variable called a we're going to use our uh, jquery selector to go ahead and select this div or create the div and we're going to use, uh, excuse me, to create the div and we're going to output high and then the demo we want to insert it before so I believe that was before and then uh, A. Bam! There we go. A lot of stuff going on in there. Really what you need to take away is how to get values, how to set values that text will get the text, HTML will get the text and the markup, and that you can also uh, change attributes and things like that as well. Um, that was basically what this example of jQuery on, and you can see how easy that is. Some of those things we were doing would have maybe taken three times as many characters to actually get that value. So it's really helpful in that way with jQuery. I like it a lot. I think it's a great en entry level framework to use, and something that uh, pretty much every web development job will expect you to have some, some uh, practice with. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. If you want to support me and get some additional content, you can go to patreon.com slash coding tutorial 360. I appreciate you all, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in 
coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.